She portrays complex personalities, using herself both as a model and a photographer. This month, the Astrid Fernley Museum opened their doors for the contemporary master of socially critical photography. Her name is Cindy Sherman, a key figure in the picture generation. A moment that was born during the 1980s. Cindy Sherman refuses to put a name on her art. She wants the viewers to make their own narratives of these female figures. The lack of information is a crucial element in her work. She was born in 1954 in Glenridge, New Jersey, and received a bachelor's degree from Buffalo State College, the State University of New York, in 1977. Her first series, Untitled Film Stills, made her very famous. Sherman personifies characters from everyday cinema, transforming herself into iconic snapshots. Sherman's portrait is flawed in the present, but she has also made her versions of the old masters of painting. She makes pictures of common stereotypes in a landscape of political parody, pulp fiction and stand-up comedy. Her art is different from other artists, because she used the stills camera as a brush. She's educated as a painter, but says it takes too long. She wants to see the result as fast as possible. Artists from the picture generation had a name from an exhibition in 1977 in New York City. There were names like Troy Brown took, Jack Goldstein, Sherry Levine, Robert Longo, and Philip Smith. They were the first artists in this movement. I'm passionate about the work of Sinisha. I wonder how she can create so many characters just by clothes and makeup. For me, doing films will never be the same. I will pay special attention to these details when I develop my new characters in the future.